And Murray went up to the, uh, a musician once and he said, uh, how do you do that? This musician said, spontaneity is the reward of discipline. The logos is the written word. Yeah. And, you know, it, it's the word that we refer to. We look at our Bibles. We pull up different scriptures. Yeah. We understand the context, whatever the history, yeah. um, you know, is Israelite culture, the whole thing, the law, the prophets. But then the rhema is the spirit right. making the words jump off the page, oh, literally. so right. And the ones that we were like, oh, I need to memorize that or I need to stick that on my fridge or my mirror. Yeah. That's the yeah. rhema where the Holy Spirit in himself allows it to become a light to us and yeah. say, this is the one you need to be yeah. taking. That's right. And there's just this sudden quickening uh -huh. and this, this surge of life that yeah. comes from the word himself, you know, as the rhema, not just the logos. That's but, right. you know, Kate, there's... I remember a musician, Murray telling me that a musician, my brother Murray t telling me a, a musician had once said to him that the key to spontaneity uh, in leading worship, for example, yeah. you know, when yeah. when musicians go off the page, so yeah. to speak, and it's no Want longer the just the written the chorus and the, flow and yes, it's no longer the written chorus, yeah. the verse and, mm. you know, the bridge or whatever. Now, all of a sudden they're, they're singing in the spirit. They're mm. taking mm. us into a realm we've, we've never, nobody's ever sung before. It's yeah. spontaneous. And Murray went up to them, uh, a musician once, and uh, actually it was Jonathan David Helser's uh, musician, one of his musicians. And, and he said, uh, how do you do that? And uh, this musician said, spontaneity is the reward of discipline yeah. wow kate that just so deeply impacted yeah. me and i th i think i realized that spontaneity with the rhema yeah comes in its most wonderful long lasting yeah. most authentic way through discipline in the logos yeah what do you think honey? i think that's so true and my observation often of, of worship leaders in that space is the ones that have the deeper well to mm. draw the water of life mm. are often the ones that have spent time in the scriptures yes. because they understand the stories, they understand the context of what yeah. even they're singing. Yeah. Sometimes it's a reference to a verse in the Bible yeah. or a passage, but the length of time that they can stay down deep in the flow, I think correlates with how much time they spend with Jesus in the secret place. That's right. Even, you know, divulging, digesting, yeah. reading the word of God yeah. and spending time with the Holy Spirit so that their worship leading comes out of the overflow of their love affair when they're at home in their home, in their bedroom, worshiping Jesus, reading the word of God. And when you say worship leaders, we're talking about all of us as all Christians us. who are followers of Jesus, who are encouraged or not, not encouraged, who the reality is we're worshipers. Exactly. Right? So but it I think applies to us all, it doesn't does, it? It does. But in the context of that, that's my observation. But I think you're right in every area of our life. If we are people that are disciplined in approaching the Logos, the written word of God, yep. opening our Bibles daily for the daily bread that yeah. Jesus wants to give us, then we find ourselves later when we're talking to people or yeah. even sharing the gospel with our friends that the word of God comes out of us because the Holy Spirit brings back not only to our memory, but our spirit yeah. to what we're to share. Yeah, I love and that. And that applies to all of us. Yeah, exactly. And I think, you know, the word of God uh, enables us to know yeah. which Jesus are we actually following? Mm -hmm. Which God are we truly worshiping? Mm -hmm. You know, we can all, you know, especially in this day and age where, you know, it, it's not, it, truth is whatever you want truth to be. Yeah. You can believe in whatever you want to believe in. And you can follow whichever God you 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 want to follow. There's toler there's this desire for so-called tolerance, left, right, and, and also a mixture. A mixture. I'll take this philosophy. I'll take this yes. way of doing things. This right. religion. I'm going to mix it in and kind yeah. of create my own soup. Yeah. And the technical term for that is syncretism. That's what that right. is. But 
And, and, and there's something about being disciplined from Genesis to Revelation that allows you to know the Jesus that you believe in yeah. is the real Jesus, the true Jesus, you know? Yeah. Because the Word of God reveals Jesus, yeah. reveals who Jesus is. And, and if we're not disciplined in the Logos, we can start to follow a Jesus of our imagination That's true. rather than the Jesus who he really is. Yeah, and the, the thing is, Jesus is revealed through the Old Testament as well because, you know, the prophet speaks Absolutely. of a, a Messiah, a Savior, who's going to come in Isaiah, for instance. But also, all the, the, the law-keeping and the fact that the people couldn't keep the law pointed to the fact that we actually needed That's right. someone once and for all, the Lamb of God, Jesus himself, Come on, to kind yeah. of write everything and to restore us to that place of relationship as God intended we had right yeah, at the beginning that's exactly in the Garden right. of Eden. When we read the full counsel of God, we see that everything that's written yeah. in the Old Covenant yeah. is written the way it is in order for us to realize we desperately need a savior. Yes. That we that the law of God is perfect. Yeah. And that the penalty of not following the, the word of God mm -hmm. is death. Mm -hmm. But the beautiful reality is that all of the law of God was perfectly fulfilled by Jesus. Yes. And the areas in which we've broken the law of yeah. God was also fully paid for by Jesus on the cross mm. so without an understanding of the law we have no realization of why we need a savior that's right. but if we are steeped in the logos in the yeah. written word of god yeah. now we know why we need jesus as our savior we're not just sitting there going yeah that sounds like yeah. a really good idea to follow jesus yeah. maybe yeah. i'll get to go to heaven no this is critical mm. knowing jesus and believing in him as, as our Lord and Savior, that he died on the cross and that the Father raised him from the dead three days later is absolutely critical yeah. for our eternal, our eternity with God. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us and we hope you really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and also click on that notifications button. Also, click on the links below. We have lots of resources for you to enjoy that we believe will help you to live an amazing supernatural life in the power of the Holy Spirit. God bless, see you next time.